before this video starts, Soldier Boy came out with a video today on YouTube talking about how he made a million dollars up off of Chris Brown, um, apparently from Floyd because of the fight is about to happen. It's a front upfront cost, but. I actually made this video before this news. That's why I'm on my phone right now. It's lazy. I didn't feel like going back to record it, but I actually paint out the picture of how this was probably about to happen and how he uses attention and flips it to make cash because he doesn't really make music like that, not make money off of it. What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and let's talk Soldier Boy. Usually I don't necessarily go over a lot of these crazy, more gossipy type news things, but it's very important for this conversation on marketing and what's really real. So let's rehash it really quickly. First, Soulja Boy started beefing with Lil Yachty. Lil Yachty has been a long time, huge Soulja Boy fan. He's made it known so many times. He even said in one of his interviews that he wants Soulja Boy to be popular again, which is why when they start beefing over India Loves, cute Lil Self, I thought it might be some kind of marketing ploy, but nah. I don't really think so. Lil Yachty genuinely seems to be turned off by this whole situation. So I'm not gonna make any accusations there. Then, Soulja Boy has this beef bubbling up with Chris Brown. He even went to the extent of calling Chris Brown out and saying Chris Brown called him trying to apologize, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, once Chris Brown gets into the conversation, people play a lot of attention to this guy. I mean, he's a high-headed dude. He's just shown a lot of times that he's gonna blow up on social media. So once you can get in under his skin, it gives you a lot more attention. But hold that thought for a second. In the midst of all this, he does this crazy interview on Vlad TV telling the most unbelievable story of how he killed somebody. Shot his ass again. Bow. He screaming and shit. Ah, bow. Somebody coming up down. I open up the door again. I start shooting. Bow, bow. Do you believe that he thought anybody would believe that? So unbelievable that many celebrities and myself doing their own interpretations of Soldier Boy's murder story. And then. Soulja Boy does this other video of him going back to the hood and in this video he walks up to one of the dudes who said he can't be in his hood apparently and the dude pushes him off and they're about to fight. Throws his phone down. Does it seem a little bit too perfect that the guy who said he couldn't come to the hood would be walking down the street while they were recording a video of him coming to the hood and he was walking down that street alone? I call bullshit or some divine coincidence. More Chris Brown. We get to the point where there's apparently going to be a celebrity boxing match and Soldier Boy is getting trained by none other than Floyd Mayweather. And let's not forget that what Floyd Mayweather does as a business is promote fights. Now I'm an athlete, I've been watching Chris Brown for a while, it's going to be a pretty tough chance of Soldier Boy beating him. But I wouldn't be surprised if the fight never happens. Even worse, it happens and somehow it doesn't happen at the same time. Like maybe they're boxing with some kind of fake gloves that can't knock anybody out. Or maybe it's only like two minutes long. Oh, I forgot to mention that he's been beefing with Quavo from the Migos too, but I'm not even going to go into that. And now back to this whole marketing thing and why I even say, I don't think Lil Yachty's a part of this mess. All that talk and next thing you know, he just apologizes to everybody out of nowhere. And did I mention that Soulja Boy is asking Lil Yachty to do songs together now? In Lil Yachty's interview with Big Boy, he himself said, I think this is some kind of marketing thing. At first, I was like, what's going on? Because it came out of nowhere. But then I start seeing him keep on promoting his new projects in the midst of all this. He's just trying to get attention, which is the number one rule of marketing. And this little portion of marketing is called PR, public relations, just getting your name out there, getting people's attention. As they say, any press is good press, whether it's good or bad. This is one of those situations. You're like, well, this has nothing to do with Soulja Boy's music, but he's getting his name and brand out there. More than anything, Soulja Boy's brand has always superseded his music. He had a few songs, but it was more so about his branding efforts that kept his name and himself in the spotlight. But at the end of the day, I don't know what's real and what's not in this situation. But before I take it out, there's two quick lessons here. One, create conversation to get your name out there. Or two, use whatever conversation that's already happening because maybe this stuff did just randomly happen all at one time and cap off of it to propel your name even further because I'm pretty sure the boxing match was not planned. But once this stuff started happening, why not? So with that being said, I never thought about it, but I'll do some videos on some serious PR type situations. That way people can understand exactly, first of all, how so much of this stuff is fake. And then you can use it for yourself. You know what to do. Subscribe.
And I happen to actually know Soldier Boy personally. I've known him for about 10 years or so now. And normal for him, he happens to love drama and he happens to love attention. Now, I feel that he's doing all of this in a very calculated way for attention. He's looking for his name to be on the blogs and, you know, his name to be hashtagged and all this stuff that he's doing. He's doing all of this on purpose for attention. And we're all giving him the attention that he's looking for.